All right, very interesting day here at EMTB Review because we have two new elements in an e-mountain bike, a hardtail and a new motor from Bafang, the Bafang 510. So I've been so curious to try both. I've never tried both on a real mountain bike trail. So we're gonna measure it, you're gonna hear the noise, you're gonna hear some impressions, and most important, I'm gonna tell you how fast this thing is because it claims to have 95 Newton meters. Okay, Bafang Motors, have you heard of them? Anyway, they're probably the biggest in the world. And I know my friends have been using that strap-on motor, the, the bolt-on motor that you put here. And I'm like, okay, that's not so good. But then as I get a lot of commuters and whatnot, I see Bafang in so many of them and they're, they're pretty darn good. Affordable, but pretty darn good, you know, on a $1,500 bike uh, or sometimes less. So they have a whole new line of mid-drive motors and man they are kind of promising the world here like 95 newton meters to like 160 newton meters and i'm like are they serious so we got the opportunity with this company called denago denago is a u.s company they have a lot of commuter bikes and they have a couple mountain bikes and so i'm reviewing this bike uh, i've been riding it on trails hard tail mind you and uh, that's coming up for sure but the first thing I wanted to show you guys was my speed measurements uh, for this bike. And during all this, the noise and speed measurements, I have one discovery that is kind of crucial uh, to using this motor and it's not so good. So hang on for that and we'll see if there's a solution or not. So about the motor, the motor itself is classic mid-drive motor. So it's about the same size as a bros or shimano so that's my problem with motors is they seem to be very few choices all the bikes that i have are either shimano bros or bosch uh, there's really nothing else so it's so important for me to have new options especially lower price options so the price of these e-bikes e-mount bikes will go down and bafang i know even though it's kind of a you know a, a an asia brand that's not very premium they seem to be really reliable as me and my friends have gone through so many motors, we break them, the, the Shimano's and the Bros's. Uh, my friends with strap-on motors, the, the Bafang motors, they just keep on ticking and they're like way more powerful. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the noise test. How noisy is this motor? And we'll do side-by-side -side comparisons in the future, but for now, you'll hear it exactly on my kind of uh, test lab in uh, my test course. As you can see, even at full boost, this motor is very, very quiet. In the near future, we'll have a POV microphone for comparison. All right, the next thing I want to show you is the fabled speed test. How fast is it? They're claiming 95 newton meters. And for reference, the Levo is claiming 90 newton meters. And uh, that's a pretty fast bike, right? All the Levos and Kinevos. And then the Bosch Gen 4. Uh, even the race motor is 85 newton meters. So this at 95, I'm like, is it really faster? So listen to my data and uh, let's analyze it together. And the result of the speed test is four minutes and 42 seconds. This is very fast. It's a record and it's basically tied with the Bosch Gen 4 motor. And this bike is 50 five pounds so it's not light and it's a hard tail but that doesn't really matter on this on this uh, fire road and here's the tally so 442 is first place cx is 443 that's in turbo mode not in race mode levo is 508 tim peak 525 and then the mid drive mid power motors are around 540 618 or really they're they're more like seven minutes the levo sl Heckler SL, the Relay, and the Fuel EXE. So that shows you how fast this Buffang 510 is with its 95 newton meters of torque. Okay, crazy, yeah. Faster than a Boss Gen 4. Okay, and before I close, I'm gonna give you some riding impressions of this motor and I'm gonna give you the, the, the crucial 
the crucial problem that uh, that I've, I've experienced, and I've called out to Denago and to to Bafang to, to see if there's a, a uh, if, if this is a setting or whatnot. So for as far as using it, it has a really good torque sensor. It seems very natural, very sensitive, premium. The display itself, pretty darn good. You know, nothing fancy. It's 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 like a Shimano display, but a little better, so pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure, and I think there's five modes. And finally, the crucial problem that a, I encountered when testing this bike and this motor is the momentary shutoff during shifting. So have you heard of this notion where, the, where these motors, when they detect chain tension when you're shifting, they, they cut off power a little bit. That way you don't crunch the gears. You know, so it's really good for beginners. So it's pretty, pretty darn hard to, to power through especially on turbo mode, 95 millimeters, on a gear change, on, and the gears are not very sophisticated on these things. So you know uh, Bosch does it, and, but they do it in sight, such a slight notion, they've been doing it for a while, that you can hardly detect it, okay? So with that notion, Bafang said, we'll do the same thing, you know, to protect the chain and the drive chain and whatnot, but they do it too much. <laughs> like, you're, you're cranking along, especially when you're higher power mo level, you're cranking along, you need to do a shift, and uh, it goes like this. So it was really a pain in the neck. If it's adjustable by the user or by the manufacturer as they do OEM, that would be cool. Because as it is, I wouldn't, it would stop me from buying this, this motor. Um, it can't be that much. It seems like 200 or 250 milliseconds um, where it just shuts off every time you change gears. You lose a significant part of your momentum, so it becomes very hard to climb. Um, you know, these uh, steep technical uphills. So for commuting, it doesn't matter that much, but for, for a, a real mountain biking, it's a big thing. So I have an open question to, to Denago and to Bafeng about this issue, but the key thing is it checks out. It is faster than a Bosch. It is it's cheap as far as I know, and uh, the range is pretty good, good display. I'm not sure if there's an iPhone app. We'll, uh, we'll get into that later. But uh, there's some info for you. Uh, a new player on Bafeng and uh, they have a whole line. So there you go. Cool to have a great new player in uh, the motor mid-mounted mid motor space. Thanks a ton.